This is the L40 by Pro Scenic, a great looking, super durable and advanced smart lock with a blazing fast fingerprint reader and also an integrated display. It also comes with a companion app, so let's check it out. New drip. Got the new drip from Pro Scenic. This is the L40 smart lock. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. So here we have the box, really nice looking design, branding on the side as well as on the top. We have this on the side and also this and then we also have this. And lastly we have this on the back with all the features right here. Let's open it up. Oh it's nice and big. We have this and on the back we have the quick start guide. And then we have all sorts of patterns for marking the spots. Oh, also different languages. Oh yeah, they, they are different actually. And we have the user manual right here, first page. Well, it was actually the front. We have the contents, installation, product overview, direction of the door, part two, set up with the app, part two, part three, four, this, and also this, and the last page. And there we have it, nice manual. It is huge. Let's get to the rest of the accessories. Okay, so in this box, we have the keys, backup keys, of course. Then we have two NFC chips or RFID. We also have this. And then we also have this other box. And inside here, we have a bag with screws. And then more screws. This. Then we also get a plate. And we also get this. Good stuff, it's all wrapped. And underneath, as you can see, it's shiny and beautiful. And lastly, the lock. Here we have it. So we have the back side, and this is the inside, of course. We have this, and also, this is also the tray for the batteries, four times double A. And on this side we have the connector. So this is basically the part that will power the system. And the other part is the brain. Done with the unboxing and now let's get to my first impressions and then to a close overview. Everything is wrapped, but let's get rid of it. Check it out, it's beautiful and shiny. Solid build quality. And yeah, as I said, we have two parts and this part is the brain. It will connect to the other part with this connector. Yes, sir. And on the front we have the fingerprint reader and display. On the bottom right here we have the speaker and the USB-C port. Feeling good. Nice. So let's take a close look. So again, the part on the inside, left, right, cable, connector on the side. This is what it looks like. Bottom and top are just, oh no, there is a speaker on the inside as well. And that's the handle right here everything is looking solid and yeah again the tray for the batteries and in here we also have a screw hole on both parts we also have a rubber seal of course left right other side of the connector here we have the sides of the part with the brain USB-C port and the top oh yeah and here we also have the hole in comparison this hole is only on the outer part and in here you can fit the emergency key Branding down here and nice display on top and fingerprint reader. So not bad, right? Next up, a test, app overview, and then of course a real world test. Let's go. Check this out. Many apps by this publisher, but I'm pretty sure that it's this one, ProScenic. So let's install this app. And meanwhile, let's insert the batteries. As I said, four times double A. This should last a long time. Let's close it up and to power it up, let's connect it. There we go. <laughs> wow, it will actually talk to us. That is so cool. So here we go. When you press this, it will turn on the display. So we are online. Let's open the app. Agree. Okay, sign up first. So there we go. Give all the permissions. Bluetooth, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, looking good. L40, here we go. Oh, this one was missing. So, okay, here we have it. 
found the device. It's looking so nice. Oh, that was fast. So next, press the top to unlock. Unlock. Nice. Okay, hi. Oh, that's a battery indicator connected. Dynamic password. User management. Family members, non-family members. We can add one. Nice. Temporary password. Okay, let's add one. Eight digit. Can we also go four? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Expiration time. Perfect for Airbnb. One, two, three, four. But we can't save it. Ah, we actually need to enter eight digits. Password is too simple. <laughs> eight, seven, nine, seven. Jeez. Oh man. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Okay, so we have this Sentinel Guard. That is so cool. And let's also wait. What's this up here? More functions. Volume adjusting. Medium. Volume adjusting. We can also set the time for the automatic lock. Double verification. And settings, we have the device info, we can unbind it, we can edit the name, firmware upgrade, it's up to date, perfect. Right on, so lastly, I want to add this. Enter unlock information. That's the last thing that I want to do. Ah, there we have it. So I can add a fingerprint and I can add a key card, start adding. Fast and easy. Card one. Password. Eight digits. Okay, I will go this time now. Okay. And fingerprint, of course. Place your finger on the reader. Confirm again. Confirm again. Confirm again. Confirm again. Succeed. Nice. Finger one. Let's add a fingerprint again. I messed it up. Now I can enter, well, a right thumb. Oh, that's just a autocomplete anyways. Perfect. Effective time permanent, right on. So now I can unlock it. I can unlock it with my thumb finger. That is so fast too. Again. Okay, I can also go for the code. My code. Unlock. Nice. And also the card. Unlock. Right on. Okay, cool. All right, so great app. Intuitive, easy, simple, fast. Let's test it for real. Have the lock right here and also have a tiny prepped door right here. As you can see, I have already installed the striker plate and I have already installed this part as well. Preparing any door is actually super easy thanks to the included patterns right here and I have used this one that you can see right here. One thing that I would recommend though is to cut out a hole right here. This one it does not have to be beautiful we just need a bit of space to slide in this connector right here. So all that's left now is to insert the lock so press in the rubber seal so that it's nice and flush and we also need to set we need to fix the position of the handle and for the side with the batteries we need the slightly longer screw so if I want to put it to the left I also need to insert the screw on the left side right here screw it in and now it's properly locked on the other side we of course need to do the thing in reverse so right here with the smallest screw that's without the screw so the smallest screw into the right side because it is facing the right side. That covers the handle prep and now we need to screw in these on both sides. Just like that. And now we're able to insert it. I will start with the cable, straighten it up, push it through, then insert the square rod and again the seal, pop that back in. There we go. So that's one side. And now here on the other side, first of all, let's connect the cable and then thanks to this hole I can easily insert it and then push it somewhere in there. And that's pretty much it. Now it's not in the way and we can easily insert the second piece. That's already 
it. Now we have two screws left. And the shorter one, of course, for up here and the longer one for down here. Now we just need to find the hole and screw it in. Okay, and now the shorter one, of course, up here. Now would be a good point to check for the alignment, but it's already pretty good, just like that. Okay, let's screw it tight. This will fix it in place. Super stable. And now for the last step, we can just insert the batteries and close it up. And there we go. Clean. So, and now we can use all the three mentioned methods to unlock the door. Actually, there is a fourth method because you have the fallback option, namely the keys. But yeah, so let me demonstrate. So first of all, we of course have the key card. There we go. Locked. Check it out. It is legit working. Then we of course have the fingerprint closed. Unlocked. There we go. Opening it with the fingerprint. I love this little door. Unlocked. And lastly, we of course have Failed. the code. That was the third method, unlocking it with the code. Locked. Then the first fallback is of course the inside of the door. You can of course always open it from the inside so you cannot lock yourself in. I was worrying about that, <laughs> but that's not an issue. And then the second fallback, if you run out of power for example, you of course have the key, you just insert it in the keyhole, rotate it 90 degrees and then you can also unlock it. So without the key, it's locked. With the key, boom. Simple as that. So yeah, looking good. It will come with all the needed accessories. Installation is also quite simple and easy and straightforward. And yeah, it works perfectly as you saw. So big thumbs up from my side. The L40 looks so awesome. I love the design. It is just looking good. It's kind of classy, but it's not boring. It's just modern. I like it. The build quality is great and the performance is equally amazing. Fast reader and the display is also responsive and beautiful. Just a great smart look all in all and it's so cheap. How is this so cheap? It's definitely trippy. Check out the product links in the description. If you're interested, I will listen link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.